Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking on a very uh, native UI type add-on vehicle spawner menu. A lot of you guys asked me in the last video when I did a V menu uh, add-on vehicle menu, how do you get this but standalone? So today we are checking out a standalone vehicle spawner, which is pretty cool. Um, so what you have to do to download this is just go to this page, link in the top of the description, and go ahead and click the download button. It will then go ahead and take you to the GitHub page, and it will say a, uh, the dependencies. Native UI Lula is one of them, so we're going to go ahead and open that up in a new tab so we can go ahead and download that. Um, it has an anti-crash system, uh, right, al right aligned so the chat isn't in the way, easier uh, configurable, all that good stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and download Native UI first. You're going to go ahead and click where it says code here, and go ahead and click download zip, or you can just go over here to the releases page and download the source code release and you can see it's downloading the latest version here go ahead and open up this and we're also going to go ahead and download the latest here by clicking the code and download zip and get the latest custom spawner open it up as well with winzip winrar 7zip whatever you use to open up these files so you can see we now have the native ui uh, and the add-on vehicle menu we're then going to open up our server dash data folder and go to our resources folder and inside of here what we're going to do is we're going to go in one folder inside this native ui download where you see the native ui and we're just going to go and drag that into our main folder and if you already have it installed you'll see replace but normally you'll just drag it in and you'll have the native ui folder in here we're also going to go ahead and download inside of here the custom spawner and we're just going to drag that into the resources folder Go back to the server.cfg file and edit it with notepad or notepad++. What you want to do is I always recommend putting uh, ensure native UI pretty much near the top of your list because a lot of resources use native UI. So for my case, I already have it here, but you're going to want to make sure it's above wherever you put ensure uh, the other folder name. And in this case, the other folder name is uh, custom spawner. So then you're going to do custom spawner. So make sure the native UI is loading before, otherwise you'll have errors. All right, so we can now close out of these and we're gonna go check out the configure part for this resource and you go down to where you have the custom spawner vehicle and inside of the client.lula file, we can edit this with notepad++ and it will say all of this cool stuff. So enter your server name here. Server name, I'm just gonna put BJHD dev. You can do like the vehicle spawner and custom vehicles, name what you like for categorization. You have the different categories. Um, so now we're actually gonna add the cars to our menu and what I'm gonna do is I only want to add one car. So in this case, I'm just going to add um, a 2020 expedition so I'm just going to change this example here to 2020 expedition um, ignore the bad spelling I know and then this is going to say to get this vehicle I'm just going to name this uh, get this fire car so I know which one in game it is and you can see there we go and we're just going to take a note of the thing so it's so12 is the name of it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all the other ones so I just have so12 now just so it's a little bit of a nice uh, neat area so there we go and obviously you can set up the PD ones too if you only want one of the PD menus you can just put the vehicles you want so I'm just going to have this one PD car though I'm not going to have that set up. So in your uh, sheriff vehicle here, you can sell, you can see how it's set up. So if vehicle menu SO12, which is what we have here, SO12, we're going to spawn whatever car this is. And this is going to be your file name over on the left-hand side you there. Uh, this one right here before the YTF or YTD. You're just going to take the name of that and put it here and just rename this to whatever it is. And in this case, it's a 2020 expedition. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that there. Um, so we have that. I clearly can't spell today because I'm so tired. Um, I do apologize for that, but we're just going to put that there. And then you can see we did delete um, all of the other cars. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Um, so you just have this. But if you want multiple cars, you can just keep multiple ones here um, and it will spawn each one. So it's quite a task to add cars to it compared to the V menu, but it is a quite nice one. And you can see I deleted the same thing over here. I deleted all the PD except for the first one. So I'm going to have to go ahead and delete those as well and then you just got this nice little menu they give you a lot of examples here um, and you can do like the different menu commands edit the slider change command to open the menu in this case I want it to be um, cars I'm just gonna have the command cars to open the menu and you don't edit below the line you can just do it here and they give you a nice little example for your example cars here if you want to set that up or whatever cars you have so that's what you do per car all you have to do now is go ahead and start your server and we're just gonna make sure the resource correctly by looking at console and checking the final thing so you can see native ui is taking a moment to load but it is loading up which means it's going well so far and then we're just going to look where we see started resource uh, custom spawner and we'll know it has spawned up and we're going to hop in game and check out there we go started resource custom spawner so i'm now going to hop in game and check out if slash cars opens the menu we created
All right, so we have hopped in game, and I do hope it finds it a little easier to see in game. I've changed kind of the resolution of the game and stuff, so hopefully it helps you. Anyway, if I type select cards, it goes ahead and open up our custom menu over there with vehicle spawner. If we click enter, you can see we have a custom vehicles. You can add as many of these custom menus as you want, like we did in the configure file. And you can see we have the police, sheriff, and CHP, exactly what we've set up in that configure file there. For police, we have the 2011 CVPI. Though we don't have any vehicle attached to it, it's not going to spawn anything. Same with the CHP. You can see coming soon. We don't actually have any vehicles attached to that but in the side of the sheriff vehicle you can see we have our get this fire car the 2020 expedition if we go ahead and click enter you can see it has spawned and we can close this menu and drive around just like normal so we have successfully installed um the resource the way it's supposed to be configured it for one of our custom cars um and you just do this over and over again for as many cars as you wish to spawn in so hopefully this did help you out um if it did remember to subscribe and like and comment and all those good things uh we'll have an esx tutorial hopefully this week i've been working hard on getting it finished up and done um i just haven't really had time to fully finish it up yet but hopefully that comes soon so thank you so much for spending the time to with me today i will see you in the next video if you have suggestions for future 5m videos or minecraft videos leave them down in the comments below see you next time goodbye